Balls have been dropped at Gundam Evolutions HQ with their Season 3 reveal live stream. And all I can say for that is... Meh, I guess I can live with it. Alright, so first things first. Defenser. Well, I think it sounds anti-rapier. Something that you would throw out at Fiora or something. Oh, we're being sidetracked. Let's move on. Alright, the great news is we're getting three mobile suits this time. I mean, playing with new, new only in the last season is pretty tiresome if I say so myself. I mean, it's fine for me, but for the others, it's really, really mixed reactions over there. So having three mobile suits rolled out each month is a relatively good news, I guess. And for real, this new upcoming mobile suit, the Hyperion Gundam. Wow, I will really buy that with my capital, the 2000 capital that I have right now. I think for me it really looks fun to play. A shielder that uses an SMG. The only problem that I have with Sazabi and Jim as shield users is that they use one shot pistols or a shotgun. Which for me it's okay but I can't really use them quite effectively. That is why I just go unicorn when I go support. I really try to support the tank but yeah, Unicorn's got mixed results, sometimes win, sometimes lose. If only my teammates stick! That's my only gripe with this game, why won't they stick together? Well, unless there's a Barbie around. Well, anyway, I can definitely understand some folk not liking this mobile suit. Because it makes the new Gundam obsolete with its shield that is used at skill and not as an ult. But for me, it's fine. I mean, it's just a shield. You can still destroy it. Unlike in the new, in which the shields makes you invulnerable, to say the least. As the lead developer said, the Hyperion shield bubble, I think, is gonna be used strategically. But seriously though, that is a game changer, especially on harbor maps where you can just be one-shotted when you're just going out of your base. Still love the harbor base map though. The Hyperion's ult though, that is also a game changer. Finally, we can have an ult that sweeps enemies away from the point. I would really use that a lot. Especially when your teammates don't get to the point already. Why am I blaming my teammates? I'm the one who's weak already in there anyway. All in all, I, I think I'm going to like Hyperion. And the fact that it's a seed Gundam. It might not be a strike, but I'll take it. Especially when the pilot has an obsession with killing the Jesus Yamato. And which in the end he didn't do. <laughs> which sucks because it really hampers down the, the Gary Stewiness of Kira Yamato. As I said, we're going to have three units released this season. Hyperion Gundam is the first of them. I really hope the other two is also fun to play. But now with all of those mobile suits, they better give us the resources to farm for capital. I mean, yeah, I don't really want to use Axia that much, but at least I want the option to be there. Or the Mahiru, or the new! Come on, GE devs, don't be stingy with the capital. Well, the hints on the next MS in Gundam Evolution is... They said it's going to be from a series not seen in Gundam Evolution. So maybe from Wing? Or Age? Or F90 Watt? Oh, please. Not which from Mercury right now. I don't want to be swarmed by aerial bits. Alright, as for the balance patches, I guess. Some of these are very, very good. The Zakutu will have a dash charge when using smoke. Finally, I can now run away when I'm being fired at in the ass. 
the Ashima are charge shot cooldown yet. But the napalm damage. Damn. Makes me want to use the Ashimar next season. And partnership with Hyperion. <laughs> that could not be said with a turn ace nerf though. I mean, it's the suplex that makes the suit fun. And you're going to nerf the damage on that thing? It's already hard to land that head for goodness sakes. At least the gym will have a buff in HP. And also on this shield bash I guess. But the Marasai, my dear sweet boy Marasai, no, <laughs> what will they do to you? The ensnare damage will be cut by, oh my, 10? The only viable combo on the Marasai will be cut? That's a lot of damage being taken out of it. I don't care about these other buffs. You're going to nerf his fishing rod. How dare you, sirs? The Zaku 2 melee has his rage balanced out, I guess. Although I really wish they add a third dash bar on that, please. By the way, I have a question for y'all. The sub action is the one where they where the Gundams aim, right? Cause if so, the news going to be really fast. Well, I mean in this patch they're going to remove the slow debuff or the new when it's aiming or something I don't know and if that's the case I really hope they add that to unicorn as well or at least just half it because the unicorn is really a sitting duck when it's alone aiming and just pressing out all of the bullets on a single freaking target for me though the fact that they won't add any new maps is kind of a good news I guess I mean, th th this is my experience by the way. I've played games where maps don't usually get released that fast. You can call me old school or anything, but for me it's kind of fine. It makes us, the current players, study the current maps even more. Exploit some gaps, I guess. Or you can just jump your Barbie into another building, I suppose. The maps themselves are fine, I mean. But I hope in the next season they'll add another one. And finally, there's some match rule changes that I would not cover in this video right now. I guess I'm gonna judge these changes when we actually play. But overall, I think Season 3 is going to be uh, okay-ish. I'm gonna be honest with you, I am kinda an optimist, you can say. So most of the time you'll get an okay from me whenever change happens. And whether it's games or anime or such things. But really, in my opinion, I mean it's my opinion, I don't know what's yours. Well, it's okay if you don't match your opinions with mine. After all, they're all just opinions. I think this season's going to be fun, and I'm going to play ranked as early as possible, because I am at silver 1 rank right now. <laughs> I fell down from grace from gold 3. <laughs> oh well, while I wail for the last two days of G, this is Noir Arcan Light, and I say to you all, I'm out of here. <laughs>